Hello Pre-K, this is Miss Elva. I am here to do a Mighty Minutes with you. This Mighty Minutes is a listening story, so that means you're going to be listening, using your ears to listen to specific words, and it's also about learning opposite words. Can you say that word, opposite? Opposite. That's three sounds, opposite. So examples of opposite words are words like this. You have hot and cold. It's like hot water and cold water. Um, some other ones could be fast and slow. And how about loud and quiet? Can you think of some other opposite words? After this video, I bet you could sit down and um, think about the words that you know and talk about opposites. Okay. The opposite words that we're going to be looking at today, I'm going to spell it for you. We're going to be listening for these words. The first one only has two letters. It looked like this. So this is how you spell our first opposite word. U, P. U, P. Just two letters. Do you know what that spells? I'll give you a hint. I'm going to draw a picture or a symbol for what this word means. There it is right there. Do you know what that's called? A an arrow. So this arrow is pointing up. So this word spells up. Now, we're going to try to figure out the opposite meaning of this word. So I'm going to write that word down. It's spelled with four letters. Right there. D O W N. You think you know what the opposite word is? And you know what that spells? Let me draw you the symbol. Down. So that arrow is pointing down. So two words. <coughs> Excuse me. Up and down. Those are the opposite words that we're going to be listening for today. Now, when you hear the word, oops, when you hear the word up, you're going to stand up. When you hear the word down, you're going to sit down or squat down. Okay? We're going to read the story three times. I'll read it to you. Um, the first time I'll just read it like normal speed and then you're gonna be listening and then I'll read the second time a little bit faster and the third time I'm gonna read it super fast let's see if you guys um, hear those words okay so let's do the first one together all right everybody stand up I'm gonna stand up just a little bit so you guys can still see me and here's my card I'm gonna be reading it a boy named Pierre who lived down the word down so sit down by the river woke up early to go fishing. He climbed down from his bed and reached up for his toothbrush and he brushed his teeth up and down. Then he climbed up on his chair and he sat down for breakfast. Did you get it all? Okay, we're gonna go a little bit faster. You ready? Here we go. A boy, oh, let's stand up. A boy named Pierre lived down by the river who woke up early to go fishing. He climbed down from his bed and he reached up for his toothbrush and he brushed his teeth up and down and he climbed up on his chair and he sat down for breakfast. Did you do it? Oh, that's hurting my legs. The third time. Let's do it really fast. I hope I don't mess up. Hmm. All right. A boy named Pierre who lived... Oh, stand up. A boy who lived down by... The river woke up early to go fishing. He climbed down from his bed and reached up for his toothbrush and he brushed his teeth up and down and he climbed up on his chair and sat down for breakfast. I'm sure I made, me, <laughs> made a mistake in there somewhere. All right, how well did you listen? Did you hear those opposite words, up and down? All right, um, have fun. Think of more opposite words. Bye.